So we will be continuing with our playlist and for that hey everyone welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are doing extremely well so the problem that we will be solving today is deleting all occurrences of a given key in a doubly linked list so what is the problem stating it is stating that you will be given a doubly linked list so basically you will be given the head of the doubly linked list and you'll also be given a key now your task is to delete all the occurrences of this particular key in that doubly linked list so if i look for the occurrences of 10 over here i have one over here i have one more here is one more here is one more so what you need to do is you need to make sure they are deleted uh you need to make sure they are deleted once you have deleted all of these you will just have four and six left so the new or rather the updated doubly linked list will have four pointing the next to six six previous pointing to four Six next pointing to null, four previous pointing to null, and this will be the updated head of the doubly linked list. Whenever, wherever you find the key, you will have to delete that particular node. And once you have deleted all the nodes with this particular key, you will have to return me the updated head of the updated doubly linked list. So I will have to delete all the occurrences. What does it mean? You will have to go through each and every node. and whichever has the value key you will end up deleting it that's what you need to do you need to go through each and everything that basically means a simple traversal through the doubly linked list how can i do that i'll take a temporary i'll place it at the head i will never ever alter the head because we will need it let's do the traversal the temporary is standing at the head it's at the head what is the value the value is 10 and that's equivalent to the key and if it is and if it is equivalent to the key you'll have to delete it you'll have to delete the head you'll have to delete the head the temporary is equivalent to head you are deleting the head which means the head has to be updated if the head is deleted you update it how do you know that the head is deleted because the temporary is equivalent to the head hence the head is deleted got it so head will be moved what is the next step you'll take the next node so this is your next node you know you will also take the previous node in this case we do not have a previous node so it will be null after this you'll have to do the link changes if there was a previous node then its next would have pointed to this but there is no previous node so this link change will not happen but there is a next node so its previous will be pointing to the previous node right the next node's previous will be pointing to the previous node in this case null which is absolutely okay because if this is the new head the previous will be pointing to null so what will i write i'll write next node your previous will be pointing to previous node in this case it will be null which is okay but do i need to do i need to have the previous node's next pointing to this i do not why because i do not have a previous node in this case because it is the head don't do anything one link change and it is done so can i say this will be pointing to a null and after this what you can do is you can free up the current node so just delete it just delete it so this will be deleted i'll just delete it once this is deleted you will say hey temporary can you go to the next node can you go to the next node so you'll just move it to the next node So what I've done is I've taken temporary to the next node. Now let's do the next traversal. What is the value? Four. What's the value of key? Ten. Not. It's not matching. So let's move it to the next. What I'll do is I'll take temporary to the next. This time the value is ten, which is equal to the key. We'll have to delete this. Again, do the same steps. Is it the head? It is not the head. So the head stays wherever it is. Let's write the same thing again. the previous node and the next node written what is the next job that you do you basically take the next and point this to this one right so what i'll do is i'll say previous this time you're there so your next will be pointing to next node done and after this you'll say the previous pointing to this so the next nodes previous will be pointing to previous node done once this is done what you will do 
will end up deleting this right done and after this is a temporary can you move to the next perfect so temporary is standing at a new node and if you look at the value that's again equivalent to the key so what will you do will again delete it let's do the same process it's not the head no need to update the head so this will be my next node this will be my previous node again the same thing will happen this time the previous nodes next will be pointing to this and the six sys previous will be pointing to this done once you have done this you take temporary to the next simple and sorted in c++ please make sure that you free up that node otherwise it will still be there in the memory so in c++ please please make sure that you free up that node otherwise it will still be in the memory in java garbage collection takes place so it is automatically deleted or freed up okay let's have the next node it is 6 and if you carefully observe the value is not equal to the key so what you'll do is you'll take the temporary to the next so let's take it so temporary is at a node which is having a value equal to key so you have to delete it again let's do the same thing this is my previous node and this is my next node how many link changes only one why because the previous node will be pointing to this right but but do we have a next node we do not have so there is no previous that will be pointing back once you have done this you can just free this up just free this up and after that you can move temporary to the next node which is basically null and you stop and if you carefully observe the head is pointing to the new updated head which is 4 it's perfect 4 is pointing to the next which is 6 6 is previous is pointing to 4 which is ok and after that this next is pointing to null so it's the updated link list with all the pointers change and this is what you have to return so let's quickly write down the pseudo code again this is pseudo code not c++ java or python code in case you want c++ java python javascript codes the link will be in the description so at first what i'll do is i'll take temporary and point it to the head we will not alter the head remember this i'll keep a traversal i'll i'll do the traversal till it reaches the last the first thing that i'll do is if temporary's value is equivalent to the key then there has to be something done we have to do the deletion and before doing the deletion please make sure to check if this is the head if this is the head of the linked list i'll just update the head to head dot next i'll just move to the next because the next one will be the new head because the head is deleted right what after this you take the next node let's take the next node what will be the next node can i say temporary dot next will be the next node i can what will be the previous node can i say temporary dot previous will be my previous node and i know one thing there will be two link changes if there is a next if there is a previous but there will only be one link change if either of them is there which basically means if the next node is there if it is there if it is there then the next node's previous will be pointing to previous node i know that for sure if the previous node is there then the previous node's next if it is not null then we make it point simple sorted next node once i've done this only in c++ not in java i'll free up this temporary i'll free up this temporary and after this i'll say temporary can you go to the next node which is basically the next node that you have already stored and this will be where your if finishes what if it goes to the else if it goes to the else it means the value is not equal to key if it is not just straight away move move it don't think much move it to the next done the while loop ends once you have done this you can straight away return the head that's it done and dusted please make sure that you have these checks it's very important because if you don't have these checks and imagine your you're standing at something which is not there and you're saying null dot previous null cannot have a previous it will throw you out 
null pointer exception. If you do this, if you remove these lines, you'll, you'll get null pointer exceptions. Got it? So let's quickly get back into the code editor and check out the code. Again, I've written down the pseudo code in case you want the C++, Java, Python or JavaScript codes. The link will be in the description. Please make sure you check it out. So it's the exact same code that I've written. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit the submit button. If I talk about the time complexity, how much is it? I'm doing a simple traversal, a simple traversal. So can I say if n is the number of nodes in doubly linked list, the time complexity will be b go of n. And what is the space complexity? Am I using any extra space? I'm not using. I'm just doing the link changes. So can I say that the space complexity will be b go of 1? I can, right? So if you're still watching, I'm very, very sure that you've understood everything. And if that is the case, please, please make sure that you do hit that like button. And if you're new to our channel, please, please do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's finish some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken.